Hello, I'm Stivitas and welcome to the second video of my course on MC Script. In the next section, we'll take a look at the installation process and the setup of the required tools. As said in a previous section, there are multiple variants of MC Script and I will focus on the Node.js version because it has the most features. So what do we need? Well, because it is a Node.js package, we need the Node.js runtime so your computer can execute uh, JavaScript natively and also the Node package manager, short npm. And then we'll take a look at how to install MC Script and also get the first text editor so we can edit the files with custom plugins. And we'll also take a look at a sample word and a first data pack. But first off, we want to install Node.js and therefore we go to node.js.org. All links are also in the description. And we can go to the download section and, and choose our system. In my case, it's a Windows system. So I will download the 64-bit version of Node.js. We'll just save the file and once it, it, it is downloaded, we can just execute it. This is a installer, so we just have to follow the setup wizard here. So we'll just say next, accept of course the license agreement and install the whole thing into our program files and just click next and install. So after you enter your admin password, it installs Node.js and this could take a while. Meanwhile, we can create a new world. So just click create new world. I'll name it MC script. And of course, cheats have to be on and create a new super flat world. And once the world is loaded, we can immediately exit it again and click on the world and say edit. One thing I didn't mention so far, MC script is for Minecraft 1.13 and 1.14. So you have to have these versions. In my case, this is the latest snapshot. So once we are in the edit world menu, we click just open world folder. And inside this world folder, we have another folder called data packs. And this is where we create our new data pack soon. Let's open our terminal in the data packs folder. You do that by holding the shift key and the right mouse button. And there's an option open PowerShell window or open CMD right here. We will use PowerShell and that looks Similar to this right here, this is the command line interface and we are currently in the datapex folder. Now we can just type node-v and that will give us, give us the version of node. If it doesn't display the version right here, try to restart your computer and try it again. Also the npm command is available, so we can also do npm-v and that will give us the version of the node package manager. And we will also use the node package manager to install MC script. We just do it by npm install dash G. That means global. So it is not just in the data packs folder available, but on your whole system. And then we just say MC script. So the command is m npm install dash g mc script and that will install mc script and the current version 0.2.1 is installed. This might be different for you. And now we can just use the mc script command and we can also take a look at the documentation also available in the description. And you can see the section CLI commands. And here are all the commands available in this terminal. We will use the mcscript new command. Let's type it in here. 
and then we have to define our name of our new project. I'll just call it test and we can hit enter and it generated some files here. And if we take a look at the data packs folder again, here is a new data pack called test and all the necessary files and functions are already there. And we have also a new scripts folder along with the function folder. And in here we have two MC script files already. We can just open them in the editor, but this does not look very nice. There are a few plugins for, for major text editors like Notepad++, Atom and Visual Studio Code that highlight some information in here and give you a bit more tools to work with MC script than the notepad. So we will also install Visual Studio Code from this website here, just download it. And we can also execute that installer. Let's go to next, yes, accept it, install it here, create a shortcut. Yeah, that looks right and install. And now we have this real nice editor right here. And right in our PowerShell window, we can also say code dot, and this will open our project for us. So we have our text editor. Now we need the plugin for this. And we just go to the extension tab right here. That is this icon. And we can just search MC script. You'll see Minecraft script language support. That is my plugin. And you can just hit install. And now you have it in your editor. And if we now open a script file, we can already see some things are highlighted here. For those who want to work in Atom, you can totally do that. And there's also a plugin by Trojana HD. And here you can install it by going into the settings and click on install here. And we can also search MC script here. And it's this one right here, just hit install. And this should be similar to the Visual Studio Code edition. But throughout this course, we will use Visual Studio Code because it has some handy tools. For those who want to be very basic, there's also the Notepad++ file on my GitHub. So you can also use that. But let's get started and write our first program. And we'll just open the load.mc script file here. So let's just write log and then these double quotes here and let's say hello MC script. So you can also already guess what it does. It just logs this message to the chat and we can save it with control S and open our PowerShell again and we can just say CD whatever name the data pack is and that will just say, yo, we want to go into that folder. So we just go with our console in this folder. And here we can say, MC script compile. This will just say that it read three files and it generated also the MC functions right here. In Visual Studio Code, we see a main function, a load function, and also this MC script folder we will explore in the following sections what these are. But if we enter the vault and hit reload, we can see the console statement and the hello MC script. That's it for this section. We successfully installed MC script and created our first program. We'll see us in the next video. Goodbye.